Hey guys, welcome to our channel. Today it's going to be a Civ 5 gameplay, and a few tips are going to be in there as well. So today we'll be playing just a regular game, level 4. Uh, random leader, random map, small, and standard. Alright, let's get her started. Great Caliph Harun al-Rashid, leader of the pious Arabian people. The Muslim Empire of the Caliphate was born in the turbulent years after the death of the Prophet Muhammad in 632 AD, as his followers sought to extend the rule of God to all of the people of the earth. The Caliphate grew mighty indeed at the height of its power, ruling Spain, North Africa, the Middle East, Anatolia, the Balkans, and Persia, an empire as great or even greater than that of Rome. The arts and sciences flourished in Arabia during the Middle Ages, even as the countries of Europe descended into ignorance and chaos. The Caliphate survived for 600 years, until finally succumbing to attack from the Mongols, those destroyers of empires. Great Caliph Harun al-Rashid, your people look to you to return them to greatness, to make Arabia once again an enlightened land of arts and knowledge, a powerful nation who needs fear no enemy. O oh, Caliph, will you take up the challenge? Can you build a civilization that will stand the test of time? Alrighty, so what you want to do at the beginning of the game is find a good place to settle your first city. Now the things that will go into you deciding where to settle are some of the luxury resources, some of these tiles I guess, whatever they are. Um, So right here we have gold, which is not a luxury resource. This is stone, also not a, not a luxury resource. Sheep. Um, so I'm going to settle right here. Just because I can reach the sheep and pretty much all the resources in the region. So let's move you there and settle alrighty and let's put you on auto explorer another big thing in pretty much all the civilizations is that you want lots and lots of workers now the big thing about workers is that you can create trade routes between your different cities now when you have a trade route between all the different cities your happiness and your commerce goes up. So more, more gold per turn and the happiness goes up. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick animal husbandry to go get that sheep early. I also wanna get mining early to get the stone. Big thing also in this game is that you should collect all the ruins that you can and explore as much as possible very early in the game. Reason why is because the ruins can give you very good uh, bonuses, or what are very good bonuses early in the game. The haft of the arrow had been feathered with one of the eagle's own plumes. We this. often give our enemies the means of our own destruction. Alrighty, so this was good. Um, it gave me the ability to uh, build an archer. Alright, he's out of moves. It takes so long at the beginning of the game, I feel like sometimes they should have sped up the beginning a little bit more. Just so that you can get into some like three move, four move turns very early in the game. Let's get you discovering that ruins. Next turn, when is that done? Ah, another nine turns. Jeez. You need to move into those ruins, which are whoa, there. Lovely. And with exploring, you can figure out where your next city sh city is going to be. So I'm thinking the next city, even though I haven't explored up here very much, I'm thinking it should be down here because it has fish, cattle, another fish, and some more sheep. Cattle's good for food, fish is good for food, and I'm actually not sure what sheep is good for at the moment. Alright, I don't know why he didn't move. So let's move you there. Ooh, barbarians. 
lovely. Oh, okay, so this ruins gave me an extra population in one of the cities. And that's good to create to produce extra productivity in the cities. Alright, so here's a barbarian encampment. And it says minor defeat, but I'm going to try for it anyways. Just to take the risk. See? I even won that. Even though it said minor defeat, I still tried it anyways, and I still came out on top. So, next turn, I will go in and attack them. And hopefully I will take over their encampment. Um... Yes, took it, and received 25 gold from it. Alrighty, that was very good. Very good indeed. Thou shalt not muzzle the ox when he treadeth out the corn. Makes sense. Alrighty, unit promotion. Uh, let's go with drill, and we're gonna let you explore some more. Singapore. Alrighty, daddy. Mining to get that stone, hopefully. And when is that uh, worker done? Oh, okay, three turns. Great, awesome. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Lovely, it has grown. That means I have three population, so it'll be working three of the tiles. So I usually put all of my workers on automated just so that I don't have to do as many clicks. It's a little bit less work for me. So it's usually what I do. Sometimes it can be a pain, but other times it can be beneficial. The meat shall inherit the earth, but not its mineral rights. Okie dokie dokie. Ah, uh, the wheel to start creating roads. One thing to I would like to discuss in this video is that when you ever meet a new civilization and they ask for open borders, never give it to them. Because if you are in the middle of a continent and you have civilizations on both sides, by the time you should be like relatively well set up at the beginning of the game, you should have cities with their borders almost connecting all the way down the continent. Now, what this does, and when you don't have open borders, is it isolates a bunch of civilizations from each other. So really that means that you can be the center of attention for the rest of the game. That doesn't necessarily mean that you will be at war with all of them, but that also means that you don't have to go through as many civilizations to get the rest of a continent. Also, protect all of your cities. I have made the mistake in the past of uh, not protecting my cities. the drawn map so that'll give me a little bit more sight in the relative area um, yeah so this video is gonna be coming to an end pretty soon um, I hope you guys enjoyed the tips uh, where are you? <laughs> funny Again, funny um, so yeah if you guys like the video go ahead and rate comment subscribe and I will see you next time bye